Hello, this is Sarah V from SV Sews Vintage. And today I'm going to be making a 1950s style blouse that will go with the green skirt I just made for my late summer, early fall sewing plans. This is the pattern I'm going to be using. It is McCall's 8879. And I will be making the blouse only. I will also be making it out of this deer fabric that I got from Fabric Mart. And I will be using these vintage buttons to go with it. Here we are starting out by cutting out the blouse. I added half an inch in the front on the pattern, giving me an extra one inch in the front. And then I did an extra fourth of an inch in the back to give me an extra half an inch. And I'm really glad I did this because it gave me a nicer fit around the neck and I didn't get the chokey whenever I put it on. And then I also added to the neck facing along with the strips of fabric that are cut on the bias to finish the edges of the sleeves and the neck. I am currently trying to finish up my late summer early fall sewing plans because I would like to get into doing my fall sewing plans because fall is superior to summer and I do still need to make these because every year summer comes around and I just haven't made clothes for it. starting my sewing by sewing the two back tucks on either side of the back pieces because it will be closing in the back with buttons and buttonholes and then I will be sewing the two front tucks. sewing the shoulder seams.
now I am doubting whether I've been sewing the seams at five eighths of an inch or half an inch because I don't have it marked anywhere on my throat plate. So I just estimate where that's at. And now I am sewing up the side and underarm seams and I'm going to be reinforcing the underarm seam from where it starts under the arm to about where the first notch is at. I am now gathering the top of the blouse along with the bottoms of the two sleeves. Using just the largest stitch on my machine and doing it two rows of them. sewing the neck binding on along with the front neck stay which was basically just another facing but it only went on the front part and I did sew it on in the wrong direction but it was on the inside so I, I didn't care and I also had some trouble with this because my machine tangled part way through, I don't know why, but then I started sewing again. I think it was because I was up near the end of my bobbin. And then here, I'm sewing. And then I just keep sewing. And then I get to the end of it. And then I realized my bobbin ran out of thread. And then I had to go back and redo that part. So if you feel like that you're watching that twice, you are because I ran out of bobbin thread. I'm sewing the binding onto the sleeves and then I will be trimming it, folding it over and then stitching it down by machine. I had thought I had footage of me doing that with the net but it turned out I didn't press I didn't press record and whenever I finished I pressed record and the footage wasn't there because I wasn't sewing then. It's kind of a bummer. But it is what it is. I was actually supposed to sew the binding on to the seam allowance using a fourth inch seam allowance for the binding but the shirt had 5 8 inch seam allowance and I sewed it both on at 5 8 inch so I had to trim it because I wasn't going back to unpick it because it started with the neck and I was just felt kind of done with the neck so then whenever I did the sleeves I did the same thing I just trimmed it and folded it over and called it a day because it was it was worth it to save 
my my peace of mind not my peace of mind but my sanity so I just kept that and when I, I did it for the sleeves to keep it consistent just hemming the shirt. buttonholes turned out way better than the one for my green skirt. I could see a little better and I didn't have to correct any of them. just sewing my buttons on. I put six buttons on. No, I did seven. The, the pattern recommended six, but I added a seventh one. I'm glad I did because I'm tall, so I really needed that extra button for it to be at my waist because it only wanted it to go to the waistline, so it's like easier to tuck in and not have as, like, as much bulk down there. Here is a better look at her. I think she turned out really nice. So this is her. I'm really happy with how the blouse turned out, especially with the skirt. And um, I love this skirt. I've worn it like four times since I've made it. And I think I would make the blouse again. It has buttons down the back. And then it's just gathered in the front at the top and at the sleeves. And I just think it looks super great together. And I'm glad that I did it. That's all for now. Thank you again for watching. It would be helpful if you hit the like button. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. Mm -hmm. Bye for now.